Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are having a blessed and positive day. This is going to be prayer and scripture. Today I am reading out of Ecclesiastes chapter 9. And uh, let's get into this word. A common destiny for all. So I reflected on all this and concluded that the righteous and the wise and what they do are in God's hands, but no one knows whether love or hate awaits them. All share a common destiny, the righteous and the wicked, the good and the bad, the clean and the unclean, those who offer sacrifices and those who do not. As it is with the good, so with the sinful, as it is with those who take oaths, so with those who are afraid, afraid to take them. This is the evil in everything that happens under the sun. The same destiny overtakes all. The hearts of people, moreover, are full of evil, and there is madness in their hearts while they live, and afterward they join the dead. Anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live dog is better off than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no further reward, and even their name is forgotten. Their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again will they have a part in anything that happens under the sun. Wow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother, for this word. We are in a very significant spiritual time period right now. The age of Aquarius is among us. The Most High God is moving right now. If you are at all connected, you have been feeling the shifts over the course of this year thus far, and it's only going to become more, what is the word, evident that God is moving. This is the energy of pick a side is what I'm picking up from this, why I was led to this scripture. Okay. And it's also God just reminding the light beings, the divine ones, the ones that are of the light about the polarities. Okay. We can expect there to be these dark and evil energies okay where there is light there is darkness where there is good there is bad okay even within ourselves as far as our shadow okay we are being called to keep that energy on reserve because there will be a time where we will need to use that against these evil these people that are of the darkness God is extending an olive branch. God has been trying to connect with these people to show them what their outcome is going to be. It, that door is closing. That door is closing. There is a tiny portion of a gap for an opportunity for these people that are set on continuing their evil ways the darkness the illumination is here already okay it's like the spotlight that continuously moves okay eventually it will land on your situation that's the best way I can describe this situation God is saying what do you want to see Okay, what, what, even in the tone of my voice, my guys are pointing out, it's just, uh, it's over, 
okay? There's, there's not much time for people to have that chance to repent and restore or get to a positive place and get to a place where the Most High God accepts you. If you are of the dark, I challenge you now to ask yourself why. I challenge you now to really sit down. I always talk about journaling, okay? I challenge you to sit down, grab a pen, grab a journal, a piece of paper, and write down. Okay? You can't lie to yourself about the things that you've done or the things that you're plotting to do. Take some time to write the things down that you are doing that you know you have done or you're planning to do and leave a bit of space beneath each of these things and answer the question of why you want to do this and what is the benefit of you doing whatever this dark deed is and if you feel gratification from hurting other people robbing other people, infecting people, whatever it is that you do, that's a dark deed, okay? If you feel gratification for any of this, then add gratification to that list and answer the question of why it is that you find peace in other people's sadness, okay? And really dig deep. I guarantee you, if you are really dark, from gratification, there will be something else that you deem to be positive. But eventually, if you keep writing, you're going to get to a, a place where you're stuck. And you're going to say, okay, why? Why is it that I get so happy when other people are hurting? What in me makes me want to hurt people? What in me makes me want to fight, be jealous of someone else? What in me makes me want to pay more attention to this person who is possibly doing what I would like to do? What in me makes me want to hurt or stop them that doesn't want me to start doing this or become better or reach my goals? What in me does not allow me to be inspired by people that are trying to do something positive? What in me makes me hate people? And if you come up with a person that has done something to you, make a list of what they've done to you so that you can prove to yourself. Because oftentimes people create this perception in their mind of how they feel slighted by someone. But when they really take the time to think about it, they can't find a reason why. It's something that they see in this person that either intimidates them, that makes them look at themselves. So they then create, start piling on reasons why they just don't like this person. Either that or someone else has told them something about this person. And in order for them to justify their dark deeds against this person, they have to start piling on things. But I guarantee you, God and the spirit guides are urging you. Take some time. If you're unwilling to do this exercise and write down why you do the dark deeds that you do, what you need to do it for. That that includes addictions. Any addictions that you may have. Write it down. And write down the benefits of whatever these dark deeds are or the reasons why you do it. And see what you come up with. Okay? I guarantee you you will get to the root eventually if you really want to do the work you will get to the root of what happened to you 
potentially in your childhood, what you witnessed in your childhood, or it doesn't even have to be childhood. It could be your current environment around you. What is causing you to operate from a low vibration? Why is it that you find joy in hurting other people or being dark? What is the reason why you want to continue on that path? What are you going to get out of this darkness? Because here in the scripture, God is telling you what's going to happen, where you're going, okay? There is no prize package at the end of it. Anything that you gain from doing this now, maybe monetary gain, money or status, fame, okay, possessions, none of that's going with you. You can't take it with you, okay? So, this is what the message is today, is God has wanted us all. Okay, I'm going to journal through this too because we all have things that we need to consistently work on. Nobody is perfect. There are things that I need to keep working on. I'm going to do the same thing. And and if I'm struggling with it, I'm going to say, why is it that I do this? Or why is it that I allow these things to get to me and make me think this way or act this way or whatever it is okay we're all different so they're all going to be different for everybody but god is really wanting us to to get into this this workshop okay it's the energy of okay the final call i just keep hearing that okay i have a read posted today about the final call it's like god is saying for some of us some there's people now that God is completely done with okay there's no turning back there's no coming now to say um, I'm sorry for what I've done please uh, forgive me and allow me to have a new beginning some people are just they've just done too much okay but that's between you and God I'm not here to judge anybody for those that have a listening ear open heart and mind God is wanting me to talk about this today. Okay. This time, this time period, I'm telling you, is very significant spiritually. God is just done with the way the world is being run by the people that have perceived power in the government, by the people that have perceived power locally, okay, in your situation. The bullies, the people that are just set on destroying, creating chaos, okay, trying to evoke fear, people that are doing dark deeds and witchcraft and darkness behind the scenes to manipulate situations, all of these people have no clue. Okay. There is no greater power than the great I am, the most high, the creator of all things. Anything that you're sending out into the universe, God is allowing it to happen to teach you some very important lesson. Okay. Some people have gotten it. Some of these practitioners now, that these dark practitioners that have been on doing all of this dark stuff now. I feel very I feel very sorry for them. People are about to be destroyed from the inside out. And people don't get it. I I hear somebody laughing right now. Someone is laughing. Someone is laughing at what I'm saying right now. And that's okay. But I guarantee you when this is over, you will not be laughing. 1444 on the clock. You definitely will not be laughing. Let me pray. Most high God, divine Holy Spirit, divine Mother, guardian angel, spirit guides, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We love you, God. Right now, I pray. 
pray for every lost soul that is adamant about doing dark deeds after they have been warned and warned and warned, God. I pray that your will be done. I pray that you would comb through this earth and remove everything and everyone that is not in alignment with your purpose, God, for what you have for this earth. I pray that you would purge the earth, God, of all the darkness, remove everyone and everything that is unwilling to concede to your commands. I thank you, most high God, for your love, your guidance, your protection, your illumination on everything and everyone that wants to continue on their dark path. I pray for the light, the love of you to permeate through this earth. I pray that every light one and their family, those that are of only of the light, be protected from these dark attempts. We bind and block you, Satan. You have no power, no power, no power. You shall remain in the pit of hell where you belong. Every dark energy or entity is bound and blocked. We return to center. Any dark energies or entities, anything being sent our way is returned to center. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Most High God, I pray for everyone that's struggling with addiction, abandonment, abuse, homelessness, sickness. I pray, God, for restoration and peace for them. I pray that your will be done in their situations. Whatever needs to be learned, I pray that those lessons are learned so that people can move forward and ascend. I pray for peace and clarity. I pray for the veils to be lifted off of every dark person, every dark deed. I pray that we can see straight through it, God. I pray that this final call, God, wakes up all of these people to have this final opportunity to change their ways, to become good people, to operate from a place of love, a place of compassion and kindness for other people and for themselves. I pray for every dark soul that has children that are being that are impressionable to this type of behavior, God. I pray that you would just Put a cloak of your protection over all of these children that are being exposed to darkness so that they do not grow up to do the same things, God. Every dark deed, God, may every dark deed come to light. We thank you, most high God. We thank you. We thank you. Please, God, forgive us for anything that we have not done that is that we should be doing. And please forgive us for anything that we have done that we should not be doing, God. We love you and thank you. Thank you for opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to get it right. We love you, God. We thank you. Amen and I say. All right, family. Um, I just heard gratitude. So for those of us that are of the light or trying to stay aligned with the Most High God, the Most High God is wanting you to show gratitude, okay? When you wake up, make that a habit. Thank God. There's so many things to thank God for, okay? Even before you get out of bed, this is something that I do oftentimes, I just lay there and I thank God before I even hit the floor, let my feet hit the floor. Thank you, God, for letting me open my eyes for another day. Thank you for protecting me, for sending the angels to protect me as I sleep. Thank you, God, for loving me, for guiding me. Thank you for choosing me. There's tons of things to thank God for. So just remember to do that as often as you possibly can. Okay, God loves us so much. God does so much for us. 
the angels do so much for us. Be sure that you're thanking your angels, your ancestors, okay? They love us so much and they are, they're here. The God is guiding me to speak on that before I close this video. Now, there's been so many sightings of so many things happening in the earth right now. I feel as though the presence of angels, the presence of our ancestors is here, okay? It's here. They are here with us. Um, so people need to think about what they're doing, okay? There's nothing you're doing in that closed, dark room. <laughs> That's not being seen. Look over your shoulder. I'm, I just heard that. Okay? Because while you're doing that, there's somebody's ancestor right behind you watching. Okay? The Most High God is always watching. But the Most High God is sending out those people to protect the light ones right now. So while you're out here writing things in books, reading spells, looking up spells concocting potions sending dark energy speaking negatively about somebody be careful be very careful somebody's ancestor is right over your shoulder watching what you're doing the angels are right over your shoulder watching what you're doing okay and before you can drop that last drop in that pot write that last word on that page okay speak out that last negative thing your opportunity may be stripped from you. Please know that. I love you all so very much. I pray that this message gets to the right people. Okay? I pray that people will take heed and understand what God is trying to say at this time. There's not much time. Get it together. Do your best. Okay? Nobody's perfect. God is continuously saying, okay? I'm hearing come as you are. Okay? Okay? You're going to know if this is for you. If there's any resistance in your heart while I'm telling you this, it, this ain't for you. Okay? If there's any resistance in you that does not want to do this, it's not for you. This message is for those who may have been doing a lot of dirt, may have been doing a lot of wrong, but your heart, something in your heart is open and receptive to this message. If this is clicking with you, I suggest you connect with God. For those of you that are resistant, for those of you that are laughing at this message, it's not for you, but the outcome here will be. Okay, just know that. Peace and blessings. I love you all. Ashay.